outside the CPS district office. Chance for change. Their job is to criminalize. Their job is not to be mentors. Their job is not to be counselors. Their job is to be police officers. Um, that's the end of the day. That's all they'll ever be. About a dozen students with the Young Activist Coalition wanting cops out of CPS buildings. Inside Monday's board meeting. You have done nothing in the face of this crisis, though. All you've done with any of that has been attempts to discredit it. A 2021 ACLU study found 273 student arrests were made. And on a yearly average, more than 400 CPS students negatively interact with the justice system. Black students make up 63% of CPS, but account for 93% of out-of-school suspensions. They're also five times more likely to face discipline than their white peers. As for preventing school shootings. They don't really prevent school shootings and they don't really increase school safety. There's no data to suggest that they do, um, but there's data to suggest that they're actually creating harm within the district. A study from the Journal of Adolescent Health in 2019 analyzed 179 shootings in schools. It found no evidence that the presence of SROs lessened the severity of school shootings. The Washington Post found only two instances nationwide in the past 19 years when an SRO stopped an active shooter. Both Uvalde and Parkland had SROs. A 2019 ACLU study found 14 million students are in schools with police, but with no counselor, nurse, psychologist or social worker, meaning those students are closer to handcuffs than a medical or mental health professional. Money for mental health. Not Monday, CPS voted six to one to continue the program. The lone no vote from board member Mike Morosky. I'm not there. I haven't seen the compelling data to make me want to vote yes on this, though. Board President Ben Lindy cited focus groups wanting resource officers. That there are very real pieces of this resolution that are informed directly by the student activism. A small yet vocal minority of students, and there's evidence CPS is listening. You have not been ignored at all. We have actually listened to you and just because it's not the result that you want doesn't mean that we're not listening. Um, your voices do matter. How are they listening? The district will take steps to have a stronger emphasis on restorative justice, meaning students will get the help that they need while still being in a learning environment rather than being expelled or suspended. Now, there's also funds being set aside for mental health resources at every school. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.